Traditionally, hepatorenal syndrome has been classified into two types, type 1 and type 2. Type 1, hepatorenal syndrome has a more rapid onset, often precipitated by bacterial infection, gastrointestinal hemorrhage, large volume paracentesis without albumin administration, or excessive response to diuretics, alcohol or drugs. It can rapidly lead to decompensation, including renal and liver failure, as well as encephalopathy. Type 2, hepatorenal syndrome is typically spontaneous and has a slower progression, with refractory ascites as the primary clinical presentation. In relatively recent years, the definition of the hepatorenal syndrome and the subtypes have evolved, and they have largely been classified based on acute kidney injury or chronic kidney injury. Type 1, hepatorenal syndrome has been proposed to be reclassified as hepatorenal syndrome acute kidney injury is defined by an increase in serum creatinine by 0.3 mg per deciliter in less than 48 hours or an increase in serum creatinine by 50% from a stable baseline reading within 3 months. Stage 1, acute kidney injury would be classified as an increase in serum creatinine level by 0.3 mg per deciliters or a 50% increase, whereas stages 2 and 3 acute kidney injury would be a doubling and tripling, respectively, of serum creatinine levels. Thank you.